wouldn't it be good if you could bookmark your favourites in contact? Well, actually, you can. If you have contact, over time you'll build up quite a collection of contact instruments. Ones you buy through Native Instruments and their supported suppliers will be in the Libraries tab in Contact. Those that have come from third party suppliers who haven't paid Native Instruments for the privilege of having them in the library will be buried deep in your file system. There is a way in Contact that you can draw on both of these to build a quick load menu. This is how you do it. So here we are in contact. We have the libraries tab open and we have all of these. We haven't got anything loaded just yet. If you right click anywhere over here, you get a quick load menu. Now, when you start, it's empty. But as you can see, mine has some voices in it. And you can either load multis, banks if you set them up, or individual instruments. And you can load them in files. So for example, if I right click here and add new folder, I can call this say drums. Drums with the cat locks off. And then I can say, well, I particularly like that from the 50s drummer. I like the 80s drummer black kit. And I like the modern drummer sparkle kit. And there we are. I've now added them. So if I want to load them, I can go up to here and do new instrument from list, drums, autumn kit. And it loads. I can also go here and my quick load instruments will come up when I right click again, drums. Now, if I don't want them there, I can bring that up by right clicking and just go to it and do delete from quick load. That doesn't delete the NKIs, it just deletes the entries I've made in this build it yourself menu where I'm bookmarking my favorites. The ones I actually have here are the ones that don't appear in this list. I've recently upgraded from Ethera Gold Lite to the Ethera Gold Vocal Edition, but you can scroll up and down here as much as you like, and you can look under E for Ethera, and it's not there. You look under G for Gold, and it's not there. Where is it? It's in the file system. And to load any of these here, you would have to go into the file system, and then you have to find the file on the folder that it's on. But what you can do is simply from this pane here, not from here, but from this pane here, you can drag those across. So if I right click and add new folder, I can do Ethera Gold Vocal. And then I simply click and drag all of the NKIs, shift click to select them all, drag them across, and lo and behold, they're all there. Now that's not the most helpful view. You can't tell what they are, but if I click off them and click back on them, it now expands across. And when you do this, what happens is you can drag folders, providing they're in there, if there's a folder, you can drag across. So if we, if we go to drone our cinematic atmosphere here, they have all these folders in instruments. So I can simply drag those folders across and the content within those folders is then accessible in the drop down menu. Now, because I've bought Ethera Gold Lite, I've got, as you can see, Ethera Gold number all their instruments, which is incredibly easy because here we've got six, seven, eight, nine and 17, which are the light versions. And I have six, seven, eight, nine and 17, which are the full versions. So I can simply go in here and click six and control click seven, eight, nine, 17. Delete from quick load. Doesn't delete them from anywhere else other than this menu system. And I now have my Ethera Gold there. 
which I can now access. Rather than having to go deep into the file system, I can now simply right click here, quick load instruments, ethereal vocal, and we can load that one. And do it loads. Now, if this gets in the way and you want to keep it open, you can drag it up and down, or you can simply close it. And there we are, we're ready to go with that. So I can now load other instruments either by clicking there, I can click here to get the quick load instruments up, I can click on the instruments thing to bring up my quick load menu, or you can cl right click in a blank space in the contract window and it will bring up the whole shebang. I'm not using this for, for the libraries file, but it's no real hardship for me. I've used the sort facility to sort them A to Z, so I know where they are. But what we do have here is all the ones that don't appear there now appear here. And I can simply go in and pick up the ones that I want from there. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give the video a like and hit the subscribe button. So until next time, you take care of yourselves and I'm going to have a coffee.